How's it going, everyone? We're going to be talking about the new Ghoul and Glory event that is happening for Halloween in Sea of Thieves in 2023. So in this video, I'm going to try and get through it as quick as I can. I'm going to explain what you can expect and also talk about what you can do to utilize some gold making methods for Gold and Glory weekends. So the Ghoul and Glory event runs from October 27th to the 1st of November 2023. To partner with this, there will be a Pirate Emporium sale and re-release of some cosmetics that are Halloween based for a discount. And that'll be running between the 28th of October to the 5th of November. You can expect to see items like the Jackalooda costume, the Crimson Crypt, and the Graveyard Gladiator items returning at a discounted price. On top of that, there is going to be a redecoration of the outposts in Sea of Thieves to make it a little bit more Halloween-y as a seasonal update. But there's also a new feature being added. If you do log in between the 27th of October to the 1st of November, you'll be able to get yourself a couple freebies. They are, of course, a Skull of Destiny Voyage, which will allow you to start up the Fort of the Dam with Without needing to find any lights and more importantly a limited time rapier of the damned that will be available for you to collect just by logging in this is a unique sword that hasn't been bought out yet and is coming as a first time appearance in this update and of course, on top of that, it does partner with the standard Gold and Glory weekend, meaning that all rewards will be doubled. This includes gold, reputation, allegiance level, and seasonal renown. However, it's worth mentioning there's been no denial or confirmation that this will affect guild level, but it's safe to say it'll most likely affect guild level reputation in a small way. And again, this event is running between the 27th of October to the 1st of November. So now you know everything that's coming for this weekend's Ghoul and Glory event, it's time to talk about what you can do to maximize your gold return for this Gold and Glory event or the double rewards that are happening. So first of all, if you are looking for Allegiance, now is the time to go for it. You're going to find that one loss will get you between quarter to half a level and one win is going to easily get you around a level. You can also partner this with selling your items and stacking streaks they will give you a lot of XP for the allegiance dives as well. On top of that, there is an increase for gold reputation. Now, the best way to make gold is easily through either the doubloon method, which I made the YouTube short on. You can find it on my channel. But in essence, you're going to cash in doubloons when it's gold and glory and you'll get double the gold return, which is a really easy passive way to do it. Or doing things like gold hoarder vaults in the raw or, of course, merchant cargo runs. And finally, if you are looking for seasonal renown or reputation, I can always go ahead and recommend the good old faithful well events or the fort of the damned with that being said that's everything you need to know about this ghoul and glory event coming up plus a little bit of a guide on what you can do to utilize this double gold double renown double allegiance event but if you do want a little bit more information feel free to check out my youtube channel as i do have many guides talking about many different things in sea of thieves and specific guides talking about how you can maximize gold they're easy to find and as a little bonus i'm going to leave some videos down in the description where you can click if you do want to see ways to make a bunch of gold allegiance reputation and whatever you're looking for this golden glory weekend with that being said hopefully you guys have a good day night evening afternoon or whatever it is wherever you are around the world and i'm going to catch you all in the next one goodbye for now